Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Have we got anything else? What else have we got? What other options have we got? There's that one there, that goes up to 90,000, but that's going to require use of a dolly or a truck to be doing all of it, and I don't want to be doing that. That's, that's not something I want to be messing around with. And then I've got that one. We've got the big body ones here. I don't think that one's by Stevie at all. That Well, I know that that one is. Uh, that one was a Stevie. Because this one's 80,000 litres right here. And you've got the standard and then you've got the extension. But that one again, it doesn't... Oh, wait. No, that one does take it all. That one will take the TMR. There. The total mixed ration. That one will take all of it. And then we've got whole road trains and everything over here. It's like it really sort of opens up on this side. I've actually got quite the selection of trailers here. So I could go with that one right there. Look, this one here, we've got uh, design color in here. I can go... Wow. Okay, that's actually... Pretty pretty snazzy that is i like that uh and then we can go with that for the main color we can go with that for the main color uh we've oh wow okay that's that's pretty i, I like that uh capacity there eighty thousand. cover yeah so it's got the cover on it that would just give us another one of these over here now, this, we've got the base game one over here, not the Stevie version. Although I thought that was the Stevie version. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I thought that I had the Stevie version, so why won't that one load the total mixed ration into it? It is the Stevie version. However, it's saying that it only takes... Wait a minute. Why is that one saying that it only takes... Oh, wait, 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 because it's a different trailer. <laughs> I'm busy looking at that, wondering what on earth is going on. It's a completely different trailer. That's why. It's because this trailer over here, this one, is not a forage wagon. See, this is just the trailer bit, whereas the other one is the forage wagon. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so if I go like that... And then we went like that. That's the one that we've got at the moment. But I would like to be able to distinguish between the two. So what I'm going to do is I want to look there. So we, we've kept the wheels the same color as that. So then I want to go in here. We have to go back into here. And we have to scroll all the way through. I've got an idea for this. And I think this is going to be pretty cool. Um, so we can easily identify between these two trailers. We've got that one. Obviously, it's easy to identify because one's a forage wagon and one is not. So it's it's not really going to be like a, a, a major thing. So we'll go with that and then that one there. And then I'll go with a design color on there like that. I'm just going to reverse them around. I know that does look a little bit peculiar, doesn't it? That definitely looks a bit peculiar. But I want to do that anyway. So we've got the exact opposite on this one as we have the other. Standard capacity of 56 or 80. We're going to go with the 80,000 cover on uh, with this one. And I will have the cover. I like the idea of having the cover on it. And I'm going to buy that bad boy right there for $70,000. 70,000 euros. Right, so there's that bit. Now, what else was it I was thinking of doing? We've got the wheel loaders in here. There's the silage fork there. And the silage fork, pretty sure that is the manure symbol, isn't it? I'm hoping it is. There's a way to find out. We've got a silage fork there, 6,000. That's like, that's 5,000. I thought the silage fork was 10,000. 5,000 is not very much. I need a bigger capacity. I need a bigger capacity fork. Has, has Stevie done some? I don't know. We're going to have to look into this a bit more then. So that's the wheel loaders. Then you've got the... Well, we've got a telehandler at the moment. So you've got that one right there. Yes, that is the symbol for the manure. And... Well, we're not... It's, it's not one of those that we want. We would want the wheel loader like this. So the, that one's got 3,000. That one's got 5,000. 
Then I've got that silage fork there, which is 6,250. And 6,200 in that big universal shovel bucket right there. And this one here is kind of the manure option for the silage fork. Uh, well, the, the grab option with it. And that one is also 5,000 litres. I'm thinking I might have one of these and just manually alter the capacity myself. I can't find something a little bigger. And then we've got something lined up that we'll be able to use when we come to do our um, manure. Because we, we are going to want to do it. And then we've got these from the Platinum Expansion. Class DLC stuff. I've got the Lieb Her right there by Stevie. So we've got the 100. It's still the standard. I think the only thing he's done on this one is given color options. I don't think he's changed much else on it. Anyway, that, that's, that's all to come. I've got a new trailer lined up and ready to go. This tractor, actually, come to think of it. So this trailer right here, this one is one we use for light bulk material. So I'm going to put the lid over on that one. And we're going to unfold that one and we're going to leave that one right there. Like that. I'm going to take this tractor back because this one is leased. So we can afford to buy this tractor now with all that wool that we sold. And then I'm going to, once I've done that... Also, we've got the trailer over there. We can bring that one back over. We'll be able to test both of those. Nope, there's one more thing I want to do. Oh, no, no, no. We'll keep the other trailer that we've got. That one we will keep. But the other thing that I was wondering about was the outside round on the field. I remember marking out the outside round on the field with doing the plowing and... I don't remember exactly how I did it. I don't remember the exact process of actually ploughing the outside round of the field. How I marked it and how I did it. And that's really bugging me now. Quad track is slipping. Alright, let's go to the quad track then a minute. If he's slipping, he's, he's definitely going to be causing us some problems. Right. What are you doing over here? Right, let me go like that and stop driver. Bring that back. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into there and I'm just going to do that a minute. Right, so he's he's working. He came out round to try. He, he basically he's tried to turn just a little bit too far. I think he's got a little bit too enthusiastic. He seems to be doing what he's supposed to do. So I want a current waypoint next closest drive course. Like that. He is doing what he's supposed to do. It's because this course I only set once around the field. And I think it is going to struggle a little bit with just once around the field. For the headland. But still, it's working. That's the main thing. It is actually working, and, that, and that's all we really need it to do. So I can go back to... You'll stay in there for a minute. We could very well be replacing this trailer in a minute. I go back to you, which means that we can get this one swapped over, and we can actually purchase it. I'm going to come in this side. I've never come in this side before. Not once. All the time I've been playing this, have I come in through that side. There's our new trailer. That does actually look pretty schnazzy. Go to there. Like that. And this one here. Repair, return. What I would like to see in this game is an option to take your one that you're leasing and buy it. Just buy it as it is. And for them to take into account the fact that you've used it and paid some money into the leasing. So you get it cheaper. I think that would be a very, very cool thing to be able to have in the game. Um, I imagine something like that would be a little bit more difficult to code in properly, which is why, potentially, we don't have something like that. But that doesn't get away from the fact that it would still be very cool to see that in the game. I want to go over here to the Zerian 5000. It's not that one. It's the other Zerian that I've got in here somewhere. Uh, it is that class Zerian there that I've been driving around with because that's got Ducky's um, 
face plastered all over the front of it. This is actually Ducky's face right here, by the way. And um, this is what Australians look like, sort of a cross between a duck and a duck-billed platypus. Um, if, not, if, if you've never been to Australia, uh, interesting fact for you, Australia is actually completely made up. And any Australia, anyone that says that they're Australian, they're actually a paid actor. And you know this to be true because um, the, the people, the, the, the Flat Earther Society, uh, that they've all said so, right? That's, that's how you know, because the Flat Earth Society has said that that is the case. Um, I didn't realize this to start with. I've lived my life in ignorance. Um, but there we go. It is actually the case that um, the Flat Earth Society has... has, has shed light on the matter really and, and they tell us that um the reason that they do that is because then you, they can say there's this whole massive island continent on the low, uh, bottom bit of the world uh, who magically stick on um obviously they should just fall off we all know that uh but yeah that anyone that claims to be from australia is actually just a paid actor um, there is an island called Australia, and it's got these strange-looking people on it, and, and that's an actual photo right there. Uh, so, yeah, little little bit of um, educational... Um a, a little bit of educational information for you there. I, I do like to keep my fans educated as well as entertained, so I hope that it's been educational for you today and you've learned a little bit about Australia. Um, doesn't exist... There is a small island that's got some strange looking people and most Australia or people who claim to be Australians are actually just paid actors being paid by the system to make you keep thinking that the earth is round. I don't actually know why there's this massive gov government cover up. I've, I've never actually been able to figure out why there is a massive government cover up conspiracy to um, fool all of us into thinking that the earth is round and not flat. Um, but there we have it, you know, I, I don't know everything on the subject, and I'm sure one day I will be enlightened. I think that's the better colour, I think that's the colour I had before, I'm, I'm not sure what colour I had, to be honest. I don't think it was the bright John Deere yellow, I think it was a slightly darker yellow, so it would be the, like, the Challenger type one. I think that's what I had. Right, well, let's buy that bad boy there, it's 421,000 euros. That is all of my money. Okay, there we go. Um, easy come, easy go. There we go. Uh, that's, that's the end of that then. So we've gone and blown all of our hard-earned cash. That, I don't think, was the colour I had on the wheels. I think I did actually have the John Deere yellow on it. So let's take you over here. Give you a fresh lick of paint. Quad track has finished. That's good because it was draining the money away fairly quickly. We will go to Customize in here. And we've got the wheel design was Trailborg. Yes, we want all of that. Uh, design was Black Zero and 5000. So I want to go to you and I'll we'll change that to John Deere. And Customize like that. Okay. And that does seem better. Pretty sure that was what I had. And I don't think I had the lighter grills either. Although I don't remember. I didn't pay any attention to what I actually had on the track. But this looks pretty good. I'm quite pleased with this. Uh, that one does look a little bit odd, admittedly, this trailer. But I still I like the look of it. The tractor has finished doing the grass fields. We've got no reason to... We, we don't need to rush off to that tractor just for a second. We don't, like, we, we don't desperately need to get the load more done. Um, we're, we're done now. If that one's finished... That's all the fertilizer done until we jump forward a day or two. So we can just bring this one into the yard. And then I'll run out. Actually, I'm just going to park this one in the yard. And we'll get that one off the field so he's out the way. And then we can worry about doing that afterwards. So let's just bring you to there. Jump up into here and stop driver like that. I'll get rid of all the lines. Actually, I'll clear the course completely. Clear current course. Start that bad boy up, and I get you back into the yard. So there's another field done. Let's go to fruit types, let's go to growth, let's go to there. Right, that's all done. The rest is done. I need another coat of fertilizer across all of this. Field 4 is potentially the issue, because I don't have care wheels on this tractor or this fertilizer spreader. So I'm hoping that my other one will be able to do that. My herbicide sprayer, up over there, hardy. 
One of the hardy boys over there. Hoping he'll be able to do that, and then we won't have any issues with it. I still want to go and plow up the field up the top, but that's kind of a in-between job that we'll do in between other things. We do just want to test this trailer and make sure it is physically capable of getting underneath that thing over there and loading up with the TMR. So we will spin you round like that and smash into the side of the total mixed ration mixer. And I bring you around a little bit like that. There. And then I will switch over to you. And I'll have a look in here. I've got everything in for the pigs. I've got everything in for chickens and pigs are all good. And then the cattle in here, I might just be able to fit the 45,000 liters in there. It'd be great if I can. And what we... I can't remember how many cows actually... Well, actually, there is a way I can find out how many cows I started with because they've all got numbers. Now, I've got a whole load of young animals here. And we're going to want to fatten those up. And there we go. It goes up to 100, 110 right there. And then it goes to number one here. So those are changing a little bit. These are all on 560 kilos thereabouts. And then it comes down to there, 192. And then it stops again. So I had 192 Holstein Frisians in the pen. Yeah, 192 I had, and we got capacity for over 400. So if I've got 192 animals in there, I will... I could do the same in another pen. I'm not sure that we actually want to go all the way to 190. Uh, maybe 150 would be better. I'm, I'm not quite sure how many we want to have in there. All right, that's, that's a, a little bit touch and go at the moment. I know that we're going to want to have several in there in a new pen. I mean, yeah, we've we, we got to get the money for it first. So we're going to have to wait a few days while we get some more milk. But that's that's not a bad thing. And then I've got 337 and the capacity of this animal pen. I'm not able to go and put all of the food in here. The capacity of this pen is, I believe, 450 with the Stevie pen. Uh, that one is 200. This pigs, horses, cows for Stevie. 450. Right, so we've got a capacity of 450 and we currently have 337. We should be alright. What I'm hoping is that we can keep the young stock in with the cattle. Yes, in a real working farm you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't have the young stock in with the cattle. You would actually move them round. You would move the young stock out and move them into another yard. But that's going to be a rather time consuming process to go and do that. So I don't really want to do it. If I can avoid doing that, that would be absolutely wonderful. It means that it's going to be easier and faster for us. Because uh, we can just keep the one lot of animals in one pen. Another lot of animals in another pen. And I'm not having to move anything around. Which is, is definitely a lot better. And also, this trailer does fit underneath the spout without any problem. Because we did adjust the terrain underneath, didn't we? So that one will fit there. And it will load up as well. Excellent. So we can now take 80,000 to a time rather than just the 45,000. Which in theory should allow us to fill two pens. Um, well, I don't know if we'll be able... We, it, we'll probably still have to go twice. But it will be just faster to be able to do it like that rather than uh, using less. So this is a good thing. This, this is another good thing. That's everything that I want to do today. So I'm going to start fast forwarding time again. And then we're going to want to head up the top and have a look at potentially getting a new grass field set up. So I'm thinking that's going to be a plowing job with this one. We can start a new field. We can... Well, we can start doing the plowing, but I don't remember exactly how I did it. I think... It's better if I just plow one round around the outside. Now, I believe you can go and mark around the outside... I think you can go and do that. So I'm going to take this one. And that one's going to be ready to go for a little spin up to the top field in the morning. We're not going to do that just yet. We'll, we'll do that in the morning. I've got a couple days now. Um, 
I'm going to have to still do some feeding tomorrow. But yeah, we can get the truck up here. It's whether or not I just do a field here or if I do a field out round here. Uh, I've got a choice between doing a big field all the way round the two and cutting across that bit so we don't really use that unless I build a new track up this side somewhere to it or if we have this as separate fields. I'm thinking separate fields is probably going to be the better option. Um, it's certainly something that we've done before and I, I, th I think it's just going to make life a little bit easier for us. Like, you've also said in the feedback that I've been getting that you would like slightly smaller fields so that we're able to have more of a variety. Now, we do have this new DLC, and they've got some massive planters in there. They're even bigger than the big planters we've got at the moment. And I was wanting to have a little play around with those, so we might be able to find room to... I mean, I guess maybe one giant field to sort of play around with them a bit. But there doesn't seem to be much point in doing... Like, because not all of the jobs can be done on the kind of scale that those are compared with the scale that we've got for the other machinery and gear that we have. So, yeah, it, it kind of leaves it a little bit one-sided. That's mostly about the planting situation. Now, plant, we're all right for planting. I've got some fair... We've got the Amazon planters, and, and they do fairly race through it. But these new ones, the, the biggest one is 30 metres. We've got a 30-metre planter that we're going to be able to use. And, uh, not planter, as a 30 meter cedar. Now, the biggest one that we've got at the moment, we've got the Terminator there, which is an 18 meter cedar. And then we've got the Seed Hawk, which is 25 meters. It's 5 meters wider than the biggest one that we've got available in game at the moment, which I think is not bad. I think that's pretty good going. Right, let's skip the night. There we go, we'll sleep. Feeling rested already. I'm feeling much better already. I've now got minus 6,000 euros. Why is the money ticking down so fast? I'm not even doing anything. Okay. Don't actually know why the money is ticking down fast, but it was. Let's start you up. I don't, I don't think I've left anything running anywhere. I don't think I've left any um, vehicles running anywhere anyway. Not to my knowledge. I don't know. It was just hourly costs for animals and things like that. Maybe they're a little bit more expensive than I realised. So, I want to go up into the field. I think, really, to be on the safe side, what I should do is manually drive and plough a line around the outside edge of the field. Then use that to create my edge of the new field that I want to make. I think that is the safest way of doing this. And I bring that over here. It's quite a step on that bit. So I'm actually thinking that I will do this as two separate fields. I mean, most of this would be all right, wouldn't it? I've already done some smoothing work up here, ready for doing some plowing. All right, and then that one will go out round and down here. Not going too close to the edge. Actually, I suppose it doesn't matter because grass is it, it like operates a little bit differently. Okay, I, I think that is going to work quite nice. And this is a fair size field, really. So we don't need to be having this as two separate ones. I don't think there's. I don't see any real advantage of putting this as two separate fields. I think we can have this as. I, I don't see any advantage of having this as one field. Sorry, we we can have this as two separate fields, and that still gives us access to this bit up here. Although this bit up here, it wouldn't take a lot, would it, to build a new road from this one. It goes out through here. We'd have to get rid of some trees. But that road would go along this way. And then down... Oh, actually, that's a long way. No, okay, so it wouldn't. There, there isn't an easy way to do that. And I've already done some work over this side as well. I completely forgot about that. Ready for doing this. But yeah, there, there, doesn't, and there doesn't appear to be an advantage to this. So we do want to keep this one as it is. And yes, I've just realized there is what could potentially be a decent jump off of the edge there. So we are definitely going to go and get that one singing. We're going to go up to the top over here. And we're going to go in a straight line straight over this way. I can only do like 90k, 100k there and... 
<laughs> okay, that wasn't quite as good as I hoped it would be. That definitely wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. And there we go. I love the <laughs> I love the physics in this game. The physics in this game are absolutely brilliant. So where would be the best place to take a running jump on this one? I think actually further up. Because then it's it's less likely to like bounce the suspension off of the front of the vehicle. And that's going to get us ultimately further lift. So we'll come down around there. And spin around like that. And I'll bring that one all the way up over here. And it's doing all right with holding the speed. And then I can get more speed still. And about there, I think. And kind of beautiful. Kind of beautiful. Still not exactly what I'm looking for in a jump. But I guess that's all right. I guess that's all right. Okay, it is 1700. And that means that food is fine for those. Food is fine for those until first thing in the morning. And food is fine for those. It's going to be... Actually, it might be a bit touch and go. Maybe we should go and put some food in for all of the animals. We'll wait until a little bit later in the evening. And that way, we've definitely got enough food for... We, we can skip the day tomorrow without having to worry about getting the animals food the later i can leave it in the day now before i go and feed them so if we wait till about nine o'clock so we're going to put this one away we'll take the john deere and the plow up to the field uh, that can be done tomorrow we and then we can manually drive around the field and mark out our first run on that one and then i will hopefully be able to use that to mark out all the rest of it and create the field on that bit up there using course play this is uh, this is what i'm hoping we will have to obviously go back over and do the um the sloppy edges bits that don't get done um but th that's not going to be a major hardship this trailer here can now be parked up and used elsewhere oops i'm not quite sure no i don't want to do that i to press that button no i don't because i need to just move it forward a bit there that's the button that i want to press um, not quite sure what I'm going to use this trailer for. I'm thinking that the trailer that we've got over there that we were using with the combine previously on the truck, we will get rid of that one and we get a bigger one. I'm actually liking the idea of a whole road train situation going on because we've not used any road trains yet. So I'm thinking that could be a pretty cool thing to be able to play around with. This trailer right here, possibly we could use this one for doing some grain work. We've not used a trailer like this one before. So let's back that one into the shed right there, and that one can park up. So that one's done. Don't need to worry about that one. It's now gone 9 o'clock, so I'm going to go down to one time speed. I just want to have a look in here. Well, they're fine, because so I've gone and put a little bit in for them. The pigs, I don't think, would last the night anyway. So all I need to do... The cattle will be fine until tomorrow. So we won't have them fine until tomorrow what i will do is we'll stop that one there and then i'll switch over to this one we'll take this eighty thousand liters of total mixed ration with our new trailer right here look at this thing look at this that's looking pretty good i'm, I'm liking the color coordination that we've got going between these two though i think that one's actually the brighter color i think we need to color coordinate a little bit better and change the color on this one i might do that tomorrow might park that in our workshop and just alter that to be the lighter colour just to see if that works a bit better. But we'll worry about that on the morrow. We won't worry about that right now. We need to bring you in here. I can't sell any milk today. We've got 99,000. We've got 100,000 litres. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.